Aucklanders and transport industry insiders are backing a Chinese company's bid to build and pay for a major toll road north of the city. The Auckland Chamber of Commerce is assisting a bid by the Chinese civil engineers to build the $400 million Penlink toll road project, which will link State Highway 1 and the Whangaparaoa Peninsula. Matt Chatterton has more. Whangaparaoa locals are fed up fed up with their long commute in and out of the peninsula. We've got a history of, you know, leaving things just too damn long. You know, I've been up here for over 30 years and it was meant to happen years ago. And, you know, if it had, it would have changed the whole dynamics of the place. That was local business owner Cedric Armit. He says the drive is a nightmare every day. I've actually got to drive out here in the morning. Uh, my daughter goes to school out the end of the peninsula and all the way from Little Manly is a, tr is a traffic jam. So you just look at it and you think, why? Mr Armit says he's more than happy to pay a toll should a road be built and most locals RNZ spoke to agreed. Golf HQ business owner Blake Cowley says the toll road has to happen. Everyone around here, the community, wouldn't blink an eye on $3 for a toll. The seven kilometre long Penlink toll road project has consent but isn't scheduled to be built for another decade. However, it could start as early as next year if the proposal from China Tia Su Ju Civil Engineering is given the green light, according to Infrastructure New Zealand Chief Executive Stephen Selwood. He says the project needs to be started sooner rather than later. The cost of delay in these projects vastly exceeds the cost of private finance and we should simply get that problem out of our minds and move on with the solutions rather than the reasons why not. China Tia Su Ju Civil Engineering is a subsidiary of China Railway Engineering. It specialises in railway projects but has also constructed expressways, bridges and tunnels in more than 20 countries. The agreement the company is pitching to the transport agency is known as a boot or build, own, operate, transfer. If successful, the company would own the road and take revenue from tolls before transferring ownership to the government around 25 to 30 years after it's built. Of the six locals RNZ spoke to, only one was concerned about why a Chinese company wants to invest in New Zealand. But Stephen Selwood says foreign investment is good for the country. The smart move is to plan and think long term and then find the ways to finance it, which enables growth, enables wealth creation, uh, and then the country will prosper. But if we continue always to just work within the budgets that we've got, we're just limiting our, con our opportunities to grow as a nation. Mr Selwood believes the project will require foreign specialists for a job of that scale, but says it's necessary to get it done. AA spokesman Barney Irvine says while it's another added cost for motorists in the area, the road would have wider benefits. The exciting thing here is that if a deal like this can work in Penlink, well, then it can be used in, in other parts of Auckland to bring forward roading projects that we're, we're going to need as the city grows. In a statement to RNZ, Transport Minister Phil Twyford said the NZTA is working through the bids procurement process but won't comment on the offer due to the competitive commercial process. For Checkpoint, Matt Chatterton.